What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Alana Simone. So, before we get started, I just want to give you guys a chance to subscribe if you have not already. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media channels at In a 90s Kind of World. Hopefully I can get it up there. <laughs> so, it's been about a week since my cut and silk press and y'all can see it's starting to get a little bit oily. <laughs> And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I wash my hair once a week because I do deal with dry scalp. But also, when my hair is straight, it starts to get really oily and greasy after like day six. I really want to stretch this hairstyle a second week because I feel like, you know, the curls are still, they're still there, right? The waves are still there, but it just, it's really greasy at this point. We're going to be using some dry shampoo to, uh, Sop up some of that oil, okay? Sop it on up. I'm going to be using the Herbal Essences uh, Dry Shampoo. I tried this method about three years ago and it gave me really great results. Um, so I figured, might as well run that thing back. Hopefully I get the same results as last time. I don't know if anybody else out there deals with your hair getting oily um, when it's straight. Uh, if there's another method, feel free to drop it down in the comments, um, but this is the method that worked for me last time, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and try it again. For those of you wondering, it is not water-based, so I don't have to worry about my hair getting frizzy. It literally says here on the bottle, instantly absorbs oil, so that is the only reason that I'm going to be using it today. I just want to show you guys what my hair is looking like before I put the dry shampoo in. Um, it's still straight, it has not gotten frizzy at all, um, but... If you guys can tell, it's like starting to do that clumpy thing. I don't know if that clumpy thing has a name, but it's, it's just, it's looking kind of, it doesn't have that fluffy look when you get a fresh silk press, you know what I mean? it's just sopping up the oil like it doesn't have that stringy look anymore it kind of has that fluffy fluffy fresh look do half of my head and then show you guys the difference because I feel like I don't know if you can tell what's happening here so spare with me it's quite interesting because it feels like wet and cold when you spray it on like it wants to be water but it's not and what's nice about it is that not only does it stop up the grease but it still leaves it like fluffy. You know what I mean? It's not like super stiff and like, no, like whoever invented dry shampoo, I need to find that human being. I really do. This thing is out here saving lives and saving silk presses. like what just happened but like my hair did not look like this in the beginning I'm just I'm just saying it doesn't have that life this side has some life I think you could tell I think it's quite apparent what's happening here this Loki looks like a fresh soap press like we just went back in time you better reverse on these people come on man oh so for all you greasy haired people out there like myself uh you're welcome <laughs> I'm kidding guys I'm kidding but no real talk though guys like I am so happy that I found a solution and it's nice because it doesn't leave any residue you know on your hair so I could 
throw some more curls in there with my flat iron just to give it some more life. Um, but I don't want to add any more heat because I feel like I've already done the silk press. I'm going to just rock it out for the rest of the week. I'll pin curl it at night just to kind of hold, you know, all the curls. But yeah, this is what we got. It definitely has that fresh look. You know, that nice and fluffy look when you first get a, uh, a silk press. So I think that uh, it definitely did its job. Okay. All right, so this is it. Let me know what you guys thought about the results. And if you have tried dry shampoo, what was your experience like? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And if you have not tried dry shampoo, what is your method for preserving your silk press if you do have to preserve it? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, I am Alana Simone, and I will see you guys in the next one. Now somebody called me. Still no? Hmm.